Microsoft Forms is a great way to collect data and assess your students. To begin, start by opening Forms in your dashboard. Now that Forms is open, you have some options. At the top, you're given some options. The first is to add a new quiz, add a new form, or to do a quick import from a PDF or a Word file that you already have. This is really useful, but will take some formatting. Other features on your dashboard include templates that you can use and edit, or you can see all of your recent files, your forms, or even things shared with you. If you need to see more, choose See More. The files that are listed here are your most recent, but you can choose in the tabs My Forms or forms that have been shared with me from other teachers. You can also tag forms as favorites if you use them often. Let's start by looking at the difference between quizzes and forms. We'll start with a quiz. The first thing I want to do when I create a quiz or a form is add a new title. This should be something that's easily searchable as if you have a lot of quizzes and forms, it's difficult to find them. Now that I have my title, I may want to add some instructions. We're going to give this a subtitle, just a test quiz for PD. With all forms and quizzes, I have an option to add a video or a picture in several sections. I can also look at the tabs at the top to see my responses. I can see the average score, if it's active, and how many people have responded. Now in my quiz, I'm ready to add some questions. So I'm going to click the Add New button and choose the type of question that I want. This one's going to be multiple choice. So I type in my question and add some answers. Since this is a quiz, I have an option to add a correct answer. I simply check the button next to the correct answer for my quiz. I can also add feedback for students, include pictures. I can make this a required question, which I recommend for all quizzes. And I can add a points value. Let's add a second question in here and then see what our quiz looks like using the preview at the top of the page. This is the view that your students will get. If I were to take this, I click Submit and you'll see I get a completed screen. This can be edited later. Now I want to view results. As a student, I can get immediate feedback on my quiz so I can see what's correct or incorrect, the correct answer, and my score. If you have questions that need to be manually graded, they will not show up here. As a teacher, under the Responses tab, now I can see an overview of my entire class, what percentage of students completed what questions, how long it took them, and the overall score. If we look at a form, it's slightly different, but very similar in the way that it's set up. First, I want to add a title, and if I want to give some description, that's very helpful as well. You'll see that Forms likes to generate questions for me. This is sometimes helpful if I have a general question that I just want to add to a form and I've used it previously. So I'm going to go ahead and add a multiple choice very similar to what I did in my quiz. But you'll notice I do not have an option to give a correct answer. There's also not a place to add a point value to this. So you want to make sure if you're assessing students and you want it scored, you complete this as a quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and add another question. And now that I've added some choices in here, I'm going to preview my form. And you'll see it's very, very similar to the quiz where I can select answers and then submit. But my screen looks a little bit different. Thanks for submitting and I can submit another response if this hasn't been turned off. But what I don't get is a score. Now under my forms, I can look at responses in the same way. And I get an overview but I see the amount of time that it took to complete it on average. I can download the overall scores, but I don't get any snapshot of how well my students performed. 